Hey guys, Alex here bringing you our vlog too. Um, unfortunately there won't be a live stream this week but there is an opportunity in this video to take part in a community wide competition and win some great prizes. First of all I want to give you a quick update on what we've been getting up to. Um, we've got some great concept art coming our way that hopefully we should be able to show you guys. Uh, we finished our GDD so we're working on creating the worlds and building the environments. And I'll just tell you quickly how we're going to approach our alpha. So alpha is set for release in September alongside the Kickstarter and hopefully by this point we will have our Stadaria finished and Last Watch finished and the space in between. So when you join the alpha those areas will be accessible and you'll be able to explore them. As we continue to develop we'll update the alpha and release new planets opening new areas for you to explore until the alpha is finished and we release the game and everything should be finished. For, and it will be available to anyone that hasn't bought into the alpha or beta. By this point, I'm sure many of you are asking what game this is in the background. It's not Wayfarer The Outer Reaches, our green light project. It's just a small mini game we put together several months ago. A lot of you have been begging for some content and we thought it would be a good idea just to release this to you guys for free on the website and you can download and play it and we're going to make a community wide competition out of this small mini game. It's going to be great. So basically, uh, it's a survival game set on this spaceship. You've got a lot of resources to manage and the objective is to survive for as long as you can. There's a timer in the corner that counts how long you've been alive and we want you guys to upload a video of the longest you can survive. So the longest survival will win a free copy of the game and access to the beta and alpha. Um, we don't require you to upload the whole video, just maybe the last minute with, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a game over screen that tells you um, you know when you've died and how long you've been playing for so if you just want to upload that that's fine if you want to do a let's play that's great I'd love to see some let's plays of it maybe something funny a prize will also be awarded for the most creative or, or the funniest video submitted and that will be the same it will be a free copy of Wayfarer and access to the alpha and beta so that will be great but yeah do what you want with it if you just want to play it that's fine you don't have to upload a video um, if you want to do something different if you just want to show some footage you want to put it on your YouTube channel do whatever you want with it guys um, here's Tom, he's going to take a walkthrough through the game and show you the basics and how it works. Cheers. Hey guys, it's Tom here. Uh, this is our little Wayfarer mini game that we're bringing out to just keep you guys occupied and bring out a new competition. So this is the cockpit to the ship and this is where you'd uh, use the autopilot to travel around the galaxy to get to different asteroids in order to mine the um, materials from them. So basically you'd uh, choose your location from here depending on what resource you'd need and then you'd, um, you'd move up and initiate the autopilot which will take you to your destination. Uh, whilst in flight you can do other things on the ship, you can go to a third person view using the middle mouse button as you can see here. Um, the ship is on its way to the asteroid so uh, let's go and check out the other rooms. The first room you come to here is the living quarters and this is where you'd um, eat and drink as you, you know you need to survive as a human on the ship. You can replenish food and water by harvesting the crops that you grow in, on the ship and also by mining ice asteroids that you can process to give you water. The thermostat is used to control the temperature of the ship and this will allow the player to either warm themselves up or save on fuel by putting on a lower temperature but which you may have to pay for later. Uh, this is the central hub of the ship. This is where you can en enter all of the different rooms in the ship. And from this uh, area here, you have a control panel which controls the amount of fuel consumption that you'll use whilst at a certain level. So if you want certain things to be faster, such as growing plants or maybe processing materials, it'll cost you. The bio room of the ship has several uses. It provides the ship with oxygen from the plants, and it also provides you with food. You'll need to keep an eye on this room to ensure that you're not missing out on a harvest and also that the plants are well watered to keep them alive. You can place seeds on any plot by clicking on it whilst looking at it and you can water the plants by clicking on the terminal behind you. Um, this process doesn't take long but it does use up your water supply so make sure you're always hitting ice asteroids in order to keep this replenished. This room contains the processes and the vats of all the resources that you can get in the game. The processors take the raw materials that you mine from the asteroids and turns it into something that's usable. So the metal processor will process the metal from metal asteroids and turn it into molten metal and the ice will be processed into water. On, upon reaching an asteroid you use this terminal to control the mining guns that will extract the materials 
from the asteroid. Using the spacebar you can control which gun to um, use and you can use both of them at the same time to extract as much resources as possible but obviously this will use fuel. The red light in the main hub indicates that your plants need watering. Obviously you need to keep an eye on them at all times to ensure that they're constantly getting enough water and that you're maximising the efficiency of your farm. It can take several cycles of water to actually finally grow your plants, but you need to keep an eye on them because if you leave them too long once they're growing, they will eventually die and despawn. So here's the final room, this is the engine room. The engine will break down randomly and you'll have to fix it using the toolboxes created at this terminal. You won't be able to leave an asteroid with a broken engine, so make sure you have enough metal to build enough toolboxes and to fix the engine itself. Once you feel like you have enough resources from a certain asteroid or the asteroid is depleted, you'll want to move on to another asteroid for the certain type of resource that you'll want. As the basis to any survival game, you want to keep an eye on the stats, which is to the right of your screen. So you want to keep up your oxygen, your warmth, your thirst and your hunger, you know, like any human would need. You'll also need to keep an eye on your ship status. So keeping the engine going, keeping the water flowing that's going to the bio room. You know, you want to make sure that all of these are topped up at all times. So as I initiate the autopilot to set off from this asteroid, um, I'd like to think that this video was helpful to you to help you understand our little mini game. So to enter the competition, to win it, you'll want to post a video response to this video or post a response onto our forums. We either want entire videos or the last minute of you being alive so we can understand it. We don't want screenshots as these can be easily changed. You know, we're also looking for creative videos, so, you know, do what you like with it. But yeah, uh, good luck surviving in the Wayfarer minigame. Okay, cheers for that, Tom. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's our little mini game that we've created. Let me just reiterate again, this is not the Wayfarer the Outer Reaches. This is not what we've got on Greenlight. This is just a little mini game that we put together several months ago, and we thought, let's have a competition with it and just let you guys play it while you're waiting for our actual game to be finished, and uh, we develop that. So yeah, get your videos uploaded. You can reply to this one, as Tom said. Um, there'll be a section on the forums that we'll set up as well. And uh, you can post your link in there and other people will be able to view them and uh, comment and get some conversations going and all sorts. Um, the end date for this competition will be July the 3rd. So you've got until then to get your videos uploaded. As, uh, as Tom said, they can be full length if you want. You know, I'm not sure anyone's gonna watch like a hour long video, but <laughs> that we just need to see the end if you want to enter the competition so if you've got a YouTube account and you're like oh I can't do the whole thing don't worry about it just the last minute if that's what you want we put some bloopers in there maybe some funny bits see what happens okay guys so uh, with that I wish you good luck and um, I'll see you again soon